Hello, hope you're having a great day. My name is Drew James and I'm playing a classical song called Minuet by Mozart. You may have noticed those astute classical people amongst you that I am not playing a classical guitar and I'm not playing on my left leg like you do when you're normally playing classical guitar. And that's because, well, I don't conform to the rule. I actually really, really love playing classical guitar songs and I especially like sharing easy ones like this one is. Um, but I don't own a classical guitar and um, I think they sound just as good on a steel string as they do on a classical. And I know that some of you classical purists out there might be going, Drew, heresy, you can't say that. But you know what, I think it sounds good regardless. So I'm gonna be teaching this one to you and um, it's nice and simple really. It's a great little tune and there's something about playing these classical songs that just sounds so simple and pure and I look forward to sharing that with you right now. Before I start this lesson, I do have a, a classical playlist on YouTube with other classical songs. Um, there'll be a link in the video description so you can click on that and access this after you've learnt Minuet. Uh, so, there is a rule to the right hand that needs to be followed in order to effectively play fingerstyle and classical guitar. That's right, I made them sound separate because they are quite separate. Thumb plays the top three strings, E, A and D string. Index plays the G, middle finger plays the B, and ring finger plays the E. The pinky doesn't do much, it just chills. Okay, so that's how I have my fingers set up before. You can see that in camera B. Make sure you're doing that as we go through this lesson. Okay, keep an eye on yourself. You can even tilt the guitar a little bit down so you can see down to check you're hitting the right strings. So let's have a look at these first few passages. So what I'd like you to do with this is put your ring and pinky finger squished together on the third fret on the B and the E string, or the fifth and the sixth string down. And while you're doing that, please, I'd like you to put your index on the A string on the second fret, like this, okay? The Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye Eddie, if you don't know the names of the strings. Now, we're gonna start with that chord shape held down. With your ring finger, you're going to pluck just the bottom string. Then you're going to put your thumb on the A string and your middle finger on the B string. And you're going to do what's known as a pinch, pulling two strings together. So you bring your thumb and index finger together like you're sort of pinching something. Hence the name. So we go ring, pinch, pinch, pinch. Hold that last pinch for two beats. So we go, it's in three, four, this song. So we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two. I'm whispering the two because that's how long we're holding it for. Rhythm is very important in music. Then lift up this ring finger that's on the third fret on the B. Play that open with your middle finger and then put the ring finger back. So we go, middle finger twice then ring finger on the bottom string so it's okay cool now middle finger on the third fret on the A string thumb on there to play that and ring finger on the bottom string for pinches again and you're doing three then so that's first fret on the B, and then open on the bottom string. So from that, pinch on the third fret on the A. Two, three, one, two. And then we're going back to that, making this shape again. But that's the most important finger to get down first. So let's take it from the beginning. Apologies for the siren, I do live very near London. That's what we've got so far. Hopefully you're following along there, okay? Now, put your index finger back on that second fret on the A string. Do the same pinches again, thumb on the A, middle finger. And 
then the same thing, lift up on the B and put it back. Then index on the first fret on the B, middle finger on the second fret on the D, pinch those two strings, then pinch those strings lifting them up so they're zeros. Second fret on the G string, ring finger on the fourth fret on the D string, pinch those two. So it's and finishing on third fret on the thickest string, thumb on there and index playing the G. So it's so I'm gonna backtrack it a little now. Okay, I'm gonna take you from the beginning of the song and we're gonna go up to that point. So listen. shape as before. Oops. <laughs> Don't do the fourth fret. Okay, even teachers make mistakes. Then, put your second, uh, middle finger on the second fret on the O string, play that, and then play the th thickest string again. So it's making a G chord. So I'm going to go from this bit. So I'm going to go from there. So if we go one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you're gonna put that pinky down again, you've guessed it, and that ring on the, and then the middle index finger back, so we're gonna go back to that shape. See, even the guys back in the day were repetitive. If they find a good idea, they'd repeat it, they'd elaborate on it. A good message is worth repeating. Then lift up the B and put it down again, then third fret on the thinnest. Then middle finger up here on this third fret, so we're kind of we're repeating. So as you can hear, that is identical to what I've already taught you, okay? So um, what I'm gonna do now is, because that takes up to a certain part in the song, I'm gonna play everything up to there very slowly. I suggest you play along with me if you're feeling ready. After three, and we're looking for smooth sounds as we play this song, okay? One, two, three. done so far. Good. Then we've got a bit of a change of mood. Pinky finger on the fifth fret on the thinnest string. Thumb on the D on your right hand. Pull those two strings. We're going to pinch them. That's ring and thumb. Then we're going to pinch them again. Then index finger on the second fret on the thinnest. Then middle finger on the third fret. Then open. So it's Got that so far? Then second fret on the thinnest and fifth fret. Then middle finger on the third fret on the B string. Pinching with your thumb on the D in the middle. Let's do that again, because that's gonna repeat. Good, then flick back to this shape, this thing. That's right, you got it. Play the bottom string and then the pinches as normal. Then open on the B, third fret as normal. Then first and second fret on the B and the D string. Pinch those, lift them up, pinch those. The two and four that we had earlier. 
And then the third fret on the thickest string and index finger on the open G string. And then that repeats. So we go... 